And I believe the system that is ran by AI will always do better than a system you have to tweak constantly by voting with people. Because, you know, like, let's get rid of people in the blockchain. This doesn't make sense, really. <laughs> yeah. So how did I get involved in crypto space? So around 2011, a little message showed up on the website. And it was the first time I heard about Bitcoin. I'm like, what is that, right? And this was like around 2011. Bitcoin's relatively cheap at the time. I was like, what, this is money that's created by people in an open, decentralized way. This is really cool. So it immediately got my attention. It just immediately kind of blew my mind because it is a form of money that was created in a, in a protocol way versus central banks and it's in a transparent way. So I immediately thought, okay, I'm gonna trade this. And I loved it because it was just, you know, the exchanges at the time were pretty simple. Uh, blockchain is immutable, you know, the data is permanent, but we can't decide on making a block more than one megabyte for how many years now. Transaction fees are going through the roof and nobody can agree on anything. Again, and why does it fail? People. VELUS stands for uh, Virtual Expending Learning Autonomous System, right? So, the, so, so for me, the 4.0 blockchain is what I think VELUS is. is that we've, we've taken the concept of AI and not to mistaken it with artificial intelligence but into uh, artificial intuition rather, which is a little bit confusing. And I'm actually considering right now rebranding it to AN uh, because Oxford Dictionary, English Dictionary told me I can abbreviate intuition using N. Uh, AI is one of the few systems that actually benefits from centralization. To decentralize that, first of all, it's a stupid idea. Artificial intuition kind of became the only choice that we had to marry with blockchain. Intuition would be blinking your eyes, having your heartbeat going, your, your breathing. If you learn how to breathe and you breathe, well, you're just gonna keep breathing, right? Like you don't need to remember how to breathe now. So blockchain only needs that. For us, we, we took artificial intelligence and we found a way to decentralize it and reach consensus on a decision making while it's being decentralized. And that, and also optimize the network when it reaches those consensus to implement it into the network itself, which reduces the cost of consensus tremendously. It's a good one because right now we're working with Mind AI and they're building their main net to train their actual AI, which is artificial intelligence system, uh, to work on top of artificial intuition. So we're going to be the consensus model for their artificial intelligence, which I think is a really good marriage between artificial intuition and intelligence. Uh, and it will allow artificial intelligence to analyze our outputs from the network from intuition and maybe in the future even guide it. So no longer will people be creating the perfect money, perfect smart contracts, the perfect uh, um, ecosystems for dApps and things like that, but rather it will create themselves based on what we're asking of the network. And if we pull this off, it's gonna really benefit everybody in a huge way that we don't even foresee yet. And I think it will make AI a little bit more trustworthy in some ways. Right now we're in the training stage. How much power we're gonna give it combined with the intuition, that's yet to be seen because that marriage is a little frightening uh, at the moment to me, but you know, I'm, that's why we do what we do, right? We always push the boundaries and we wanna see what's gonna happen. So as long as we're liking what we're seeing, we're probably gonna do it. Yeah. If all goes well, we're gonna have a system that are married together and writing their own ecosystem. But we have a lot of things to prove and do along the way. So if anybody wants to join our journey, I think it's an exciting one. Korean and any person watching this interview to get excited uh, about the stuff that we're trying to accomplish here, guide it. So we want people to get excited with that and come and help us, especially if you're in university and you're studying AI or you're doing cryptography or you're wor working on some sort of blockchain systems, uh, dApps, Come take a look at what we're doing. Try to see if you can help.